Hi, I'm Keith from Allen and Heath, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the effects in the CQ series. In the effects screen here, we can see the four effects units on the left hand side, or two in the 12T. We can select any of these to show the controls for the effects unit. And also, if it's in shared mode, selectable at the bottom here, we can also see all of the send signals to that effects unit. Any of these effects engines can be used for different effects. So you could have four reverbs, if you like, or four delays, or any combination of modulation, delay, and reverb effects units. The easy verb here, which we have on effects unit one, is a source-based or instrument-centric reverb, which allows you to select your type, and then just quickly and easily adjust the reverb size. There's also an effects assist over on the right-hand side here, and this is available on many of the reverbs and delays in the CQ. Effects assist works in the background, looking at frequency and levels to adjust parameters and ensure that your mix doesn't get muddy if you start sending lots of input channels to a reverb or delay unit. There are also some other options with effects assist that we'll see as we move through. Looking at the flanger here, we could set that up as an insert on any input or output by just switching the effects unit mode to inserted. Once we've selected a channel, we then get presented with a mix control between dry and wet, and also an in-out switch. Jumping back, one of the effects units I really want to share with you is the echo verb. So echo verb is like three effects in one. You have an echo with an echo time and level, a size for the reverb with a tone control as well, color, and then you also have a tap delay time and a delay level. So this is great when often people ask me, what's the best effects unit for vocal? I'd always say this one. The effects assist options are a little bit different here. So you've got level, whisper, clarity, and soften, and they will all do different things in the background. To select an effects unit, we just need to open the library. So if we go to effects unit four, we can open up the library here, and let's choose a tap delay, for example. Now you can see we have some options here for low cut and high cut. So thicken button here, feedback control, high frequency damping, and also a tap delay time. You can either tap on screen or you can adjust with the rotary, or we could set up a soft key. So if we jump over to our config screen in our control and network section, we can select a soft key, select the function, and we're gonna select tap tempo, effects unit four, and you'll see that soft key is now flashing to show me the tempo, and I can just tap in my delay type. To get the effects to an output, so say a monitor or in ears or to the main left right, we just go to our fader screen and adjust levels as we would with any of the input channels. For more information on CQ and all Allen & Heath products, visit allen-heath.com.